really excited to introduce the next group here, which is cohort 24, promoting food safety, excuse me, oops, promoting food safety. And this will be with Francesca and Felix. So take it away. Felix, you're on mute. Hi everyone, this is Felix from Hong Kong. I'm the founder and CEO of Exxon. My company specializes in food preservation and it's the first food tech company to store fresh meats, fish and seafood at room temperature. And my name is Francisca from Zurich, Senior Manager at Nemus Technologies, where we specialize in the development of reliable and rapid lab-free detection of pathogens in the food industry. Today we're presenting for Cohort 24, promoting food safety and traceability. Let me introduce you to Tonkin, a one-year-old little boy from northern Laos. For several days now, he's been experiencing stomach pains and severe bloating. His mother, La, is worried like any mother would be about the health and safety of her young child. Her anxiety is caused by a sense of utter helplessness, as she does not know the cause of his symptoms. It could be the traditional minced meat salad called lard she prepared, or the prepackaged corn she bought the other day. Alternatively, and this is something La most definitely does not know about, the infant formula she gave him could be adulterated like in the 2008 Chinese milk scandal. Tonkin's and La's story is not a single case. This is the variation of the story of 600 million people, which collectively shoulder the health burden caused by foodborne illnesses. While the majority fall ill, 420,000 people die every year from eating contaminated food. Most impacted though are children below the age of five in low and middle income countries. Children that do not yet have the means to protect themselves from threats such as unsafe food. The accumulation of all these individual stories results in healthcare costs of US $15 billion a year. But there is more. Parents like La will either stay at home or go to the hospital to take care of their sick child. This is precious time in which she would have otherwise been earning a small income, which carries significant weight for their economic situation. In low and middle income countries, productivity loss like that amounts to US $95 billion and the socioeconomic impact to US $110 billion. I'm sure you guys have heard many pitches today outlining the tragedy of parents and children experiencing the unforgiving reality of today's broken systems. However, this story is personal. It's personal because I met Tonkin on a small and dirty road in the middle of nowhere in February 2020. We took him to the local hospital due to his bloated stomach and found out that he would have otherwise died only a couple of days later. In cohort 24, we believe that safe food as a basic human right should no longer be just an idealistic aspiration, but the feasible and improved reality for people all over the world. Tonkin's story highlights three key weaknesses of our global food systems. The lack of awareness and know-how about food safety, the lack of accessibility and affordability of critical tools for safety and hygiene practices and a lack of trusted, tamper-proof tracking solutions from farm to fork. Now, of course, every stakeholder, either participating in or affected by food systems, selects tools and approaches based on different strategic objectives. New technologies, reforms, and behavioral changes require investment, both financially and administratively. However, as the current pandemic has shown us, the interconnectivity of our globalized world cannot be underestimated. Local productions have grown into industrialized economies of scale with value creation chains that cross national borders. The truth is Tonkin falling sick not only impacts him, it also impacts his parents and his parents' co-workers. The effects can ripple down, especially in a closely knitted network, damaging people, processes, and productivity. And when hygiene and safety standards are not met in the mass production of food, one failure can have drastic consequences for communities, economies, and nations. So let me introduce our vision, a new era of safe food. 
We propose to you a game-changing food safety and traceability platform employing cutting-edge digital and molecular technologies to empower all stakeholders, from farm to fork, to effectively decrease and manage their respective risks associated with foodborne diseases. Our solution particularly targets low- and middle-income countries. Starting at the fork, the data collected will be used to generate an intelligent food product labeling scheme captured in a QR code placed on the product in addition to existing nutrition labels. Key safety indicators such as microbiological status, industry certifications and other parameters will be made available so that consumers can make more informed food choices. Capacity building services, such as trainings and education complement this proposed offering. The food safety label is powered by data sets captured along different stages of the food value chain. Innovative data collection and interpretation tools, molecular technologies and trainings on best hygiene practices ensure both traceability and transparency in the production and processing of food. In this tailored approach, the needs of different stakeholders from farm to large retailers can be addressed. We place a particular emphasis on the accessibility to what we know are increasingly important technologies such as blockchain-based traceability systems. As new standards are put in place, anyone who cannot afford their implementation will experience an existential barrier to market. Thus, accessibility for us means making it work, whether that is on a brick phone or through voice recognition in case of illiteracy. The unique value proposition of our solution is not a limited offering, but provides the foundation for our scaling partners to pursue their strategic objectives. With our solution, we believe we can achieve a reduction of both deaths and the burden caused by foodborne illnesses by half in the next eight years. We expect not only significant productivity increases of up to US $40 billion, but also a decrease in product recalls and thus food waste of US $8 billion in low and middle income countries. Our mission is to reduce the global foodborne disease burden to the extent that unsafe food becomes an issue of the past. Traceability will optimize both logistics and resource allocation, reducing the number of products recalled energy in the respective carbon footprint. Healthcare relief and additional disposable income of families will improve quality of life and unlock the productivity potential of low and middle income countries, hence dramatically elevating their economic trajectory. As consumers grow more aware, the demand for safe products is expected to impact market dynamics. Creating a globally scaled platform will potentially spark the conversation around food safety to an extent where the general knowledge and subsequent food choices across national borders will expand and improve. Another key impact of onboarding farmers on digital platforms is their integration into formal banking and economy, empowering them with approval, payment and credit history. We have drafted a roadmap detailing six specific steps from market research to the successful implementation of our solution. Market research will be critical to understanding local drivers for foodborne diseases and identifying potential barriers, based on which the appropriate tools, technologies, and educational content will be selected. A pilot project will be critical to validate assumptions and generate insights to further improve and adapt the offering for maximum impact. Subsequently, the monitored onboarding of early adapters will pave the way for the official launch and advertisement of the platform. This process will allow for a short learning cycle to further tailor the solution and optimally serve the needs it aims to address. A grace period shall be defined, which will allow food producers and manufacturers to trial the platform and make use of the capacity building services before they have to comply with regulations, requirements, and criteria defined by the food safety label. For this to become a reality, we rely on your support. We are looking for scaling partners which have a vested interest in addressing the challenges of today's food systems. The application space of our solution is unlimited as we require only two things, an identified need and a commitment to address the need. We can target both isolated value creation chains and geographically defined markets. 
Join us and support our solution so that children like Tonkin don't need to rely on random strangers like myself to live another day. With your help, we can create a safer and fairer world for our future generations. You would be partnering with a cohort consisting of members from various cultural, educational and industry backgrounds, united by a shared sense of purpose about making this world a better place. All of us represent a startup exhibiting strong core technologies and value propositions, whereas our solution is more than just the sum of our individual parts. If our solution struck a chord, we would be honored if you were to reach out to Leonardo Solorzano, our cohort point of contact for skating partners. Thank you for your time. Fantastic presentation, Francesca and Felix. Thank you so much for that. The one line that just really struck me last time I heard your presentation as well, it's just so core, is safe food is a basic human right. So thank you so much for sharing your solution.